Yo, what's going on guys? So as you can see in the title and in the thumbnail, you already know what we're talking about. I'm gonna be letting you guys know some of the best mods that you can do to gain some power without getting a tune. Cause everybody wants to gain power, everybody wants to be faster, but not everybody wants to be tuned, not everybody wants to void that warranty. So I'm gonna be helping you guys out. I got about five, maybe even six mods. I don't really know what the title is just yet. It might be the five mods, but I got six for you. You know, we'll throw a little honorable mention in there for you guys. So if this is something that you guys are interested in, you wanna be a little faster, but you're not really sure if you wanna go through with the tune, I'm gonna give you guys some stuff that you could do before you get the tune or if you don't even plan on getting the tune i'm gonna give you guys some stuff that you could do without getting tuned in a dodge charger dodge challenger hellcat scat pack rt so if you guys enjoy like comment subscribe it helps out tremendously i appreciate it greatly if you want to see the channel grow and bigger and better things come to the channel which is going to happen you guys could be a part of that just drop a like drop a thumbs up you know what i'm saying hit that subscribe button it helps out a lot thank you guys so much without further ado let's get right to it all right so for the first thing that we're gonna be talking about, hold up, camera's a little dirty. Don't mind the car, it did just rain, so you know I haven't got a chance to clean that up yet, but you guys do see it. Let me take you on a little overview real quick. You see the hood freshly wrapped, super dirty right now, and you could tell a lot more now because it's satin black than you could before. But damn, I haven't even drove this thing since it rained and the thing is filthy. But yeah, you see all the stuff that I got done to it so far. Mostly aesthetic things, but I got a couple performance as well. Not too many. I'm gonna be showing you guys the things that I got first and then we'll move on to the things that I don't got yet that you guys could do to gain some power. So the first thing that we're gonna be talking about is right here, you guys see it, the intake. And the one that we're talking about isn't this one. This isn't actually the one that I recommend. Now the reason I'm saying I don't recommend that specific intake is not because it's good, it is good. It's one of the best intakes that you can get, but it's because it's so expensive. That intake is pretty damn expensive. The link is down below in the description if you guys wanna check it out and if you got a little money to blow. But the reason I recommend the Hellcat Lower Airbox is because it is a lot more affordable and it's not gonna give you as much gains just based off the research that I've done, but it'll be close enough. You know, the money to power ratio, the Hellcat Lower Airbox is the way to go. But if you got a little money to spend and you want those extra gains, then you can't go wrong with the Momentum GT. But with that being said, all links are down below in the description. Either way you want to go. Also, before I let you guys go and we get back to the video, I don't have this set up for nothing. I do have a gaming channel. So if you guys are interested in gaming and you want to come check us out, the link is down below in the description for that as well. And now back to your regularly scheduled program. Shout out to my boy Jose, he actually sent me this. Cause if it wasn't for him sending me this, I probably wouldn't have spent the money to get this when you could get the Hellcat lower airbox for a lot cheaper and around similar gains. So that is the one that I do recommend. And if you guys are interested in a Hellcat lower airbox, I'm actually selling one because I was gonna put that in before my boy sent me this, I had purchased one. But when my boy Jose sent me this, I figured I might as well go with this. So I still do have that Hellcat lower air box. So if you guys are interested in one, let me know. But that is the first thing on the list that I do recommend is a Hellcat lower air box with the tube. So you guys can't really see it. You can notice more on the challengers, but down there, there is a tube that goes to the front of the vehicle. And in challengers, they have a hole right here next to the light where it could take in more air and that's basically what this is doing you could kind of see it in there but not really so what i recommend is a hellcat lower air box with the tube that's going to suck in more air and it will actually give you some horsepower gains on that so that's pretty much the only performance mod that i got that i could recommend to you guys i haven't really done the performance yet but the next thing that i will recommend that actually complements the intake and works with the intake is a ported throttle body i don't have a ported throttle body i don't know if i'm gonna pull one in before i get rid of the car because you guys know that i am going to be selling this car and if you don't then you know now and if you want to know why you could go back and check the video i did on it but another thing that you guys could do that will increase airflow 
and give you a little more power is a ported throttle body. You don't need a tune for it. Questionable whether it voids the warranty or not, but you can't really tell. So, I mean, and it's easy to switch out. If anything ever happens, you just switch it out. Boom, you right back to stock. Not that crazy, not that invasive. So the next thing that I do recommend is the ported throttle body. Moving on to the next thing, we're getting through this list pretty quickly because everything is right here in the engine for the most part a few of these are going to have to do with outside of the engine stuff but the next thing that you guys could do is get the 180 degree thermostat now i did have this in the past and if you guys want to know why i don't have it anymore you could go back and check that video but i don't have it anymore and all i will say is make sure you guys get a good brand some people say you do need a tune, but it does work without a tune. You could do your research. The tune just will allow the fans to come on sooner. But when I had the 180 degree thermostat, it did work. It was keeping the temperature lower, but just make sure you keep an eye on those temps because there is certain things that could go wrong with the thermostat. And if it gets stuck, kind of like how it did with mine, then you know, you want to make sure you catch that early. But that is another thing that you can do to give yourself a little more power. It's not gonna really give you more power, the 180 degree thermostat. It's just gonna make your car run more consistently because the cooler that it is, the more consistent that it's gonna run. Especially these engines, they do tend to get a little hot. So a 180 degree thermostat does work well in this type of vehicle. Now you can see I got the oil catch can here. That doesn't really add power and that's not really on the list, but I might as well mention it since it is in here. And the link to that is down below in the description. And any of the stuff that I do mention in this video, probably all of it will be down in there. So just check the description if you guys are looking for any of those links. But with all that being said, I think that's gonna do it here in the engine. So boom, we could close that up. Hop back up in here, you guys see it? All right, so, so far we got the Hellcat lower air box with the tube. Don't forget to get that tube because that does that a lot. We got the ported throttle body is going to work with the intake. And being that it's a ported throttle body and a little bigger, um, a lot of people recommend the 87 millimeter. And that's going to be a little bigger. It's going to allow more air to go through there. That's going to give you a little bit more power. The 180 degree thermostat, that's going to allow the car to run more consistent. So when the car gets hot, you don't lose power. So if we're gaining some power, we don't want to just lose it when the car gets hot, right? We want to keep that power consistent, as consistent as possible. And that's what the 180 degree thermostat is going to do. The reason I don't use it is because I had an issue with that certain brand. And I just never got back around to putting one back in. At the time where I stopped using it, it wasn't really hot out. We are in summer right now and it is getting a little hotter, but I don't know. I might get rid of it before I even get the chance to do that. So I don't know if I will get a 180 degree thermostat or not, but if I was keeping the car and it got hot again, a 180 degree thermostat is something that I would get again and a ported throttle body. So the next thing that we got to talk about and really one of the first things that you should do, and actually we're going to have to go back outside for this one. The next thing you're gonna wanna do is tires. Really the first thing that you wanna do. I don't know, you guys could get rid of the tires that come on the vehicle, have your fun with them, you know, do what you wanna do. They're not gonna catch much traction if you're going with the Pirellis. And sorry if it's windy out here, that's why I kinda wanted to go back inside. But you see I got the Toyo R888s. Not really the best tire for being a daily driver. I'm gonna do a full review on these pretty soon, just explaining if they're good for daily driving and this and that. But I'll tell you guys right now, probably not the best for a daily driver unless you got a little bit of money on you or a lot. And if you're looking to do a lot of digs and you know, a lot of, if you want a lot of power from a stop, probably not the best tire to go with either. These are more of a track based tire, a great tire, an amazing tire for, you know, turning and being on the track. But as far as digs go and, you know, drag races and catching traction from a stop, obviously a Mickey Thompson is gonna be the best thing to go with, but just make sure you get a nice sticky tire, something that you're gonna be able to catch traction on that's going to allow you to put that power down on the street because if you're going to be gaining a little bit of power already these cars stock come with a whole lot of torque and with the stock tires you're not going to be able to put that power down so the first thing you want to do get you some tires all right let's go back up in here all right we're going in and out in and out i forgot about mentioning the tires that should have been the first thing that i mentioned but yes tires so we got the hellcat lower air box we got the thermostat we got the ported throttle body we got the tires and the next thing that we could talk about 
is something that I do not have, a catback exhaust system. Now not only is this gonna make your car sound a whole lot better, but also it is gonna give you a little bit of gains. You can check videos online of people getting a catback exhaust. I know Racer X has one where he got the Flowmaster exhaust on his and it did actually add some gains. Now I don't have a catback exhaust system. I actually just did a mid muffler delete. I went the cheap route. You don't really get any gains from a mid muffler delete, but adding a good exhaust system such as Corsa, Borla, Flowmaster, um, I probably would have went with Corsa if it was me, but you will see a little bit of gains and all of these things that I'm mentioning, you're not going to see an astronomical amount of horsepower gain from these mods, but you will see a little bit of gain and we do have one more honorable mention, so stay tuned for that. But these scat packs come from the factory pretty optimized you know you don't see a lot of horsepower gains it's not like a q60 or a q50 where you add a downpipe and a tune and you're gaining freaking 100 horsepower or something crazy like that you know obviously i'm over exaggerating but you get a lot of horsepower from small things on other vehicles even mustangs and camaros not as much as mustangs but you know Vehicles like that, you're gonna see a lot of horsepower gains with minimal mods, you know, but things like scat packs, you're not really gonna see the same amount of gains because they come optimized from the factory. So these little things that you do, you gotta pretty much take what you could get, you know, by adding the throttle body, by adding the Hellcat lower airbox and the thermostat, getting tires so you're able to put the power down, you're gonna be able to pick up a little bit of horsepower here and there. And adding a catback exhaust system, you're kind of killing two birds with one stone because not only does it sound amazing and it's gonna sound better than a mid muffler delete this is something that I was gonna do as well before I decided I was gonna get rid of my scat pack but you're also gonna get some power you know with that cat back exhaust system so these are some good mods that you could do you don't need to tune with them and the very last one that we're gonna talk about this is an honorable mention I told you guys I was gonna throw in a little extra one for you you're not really gonna gain any more horsepower from this but it will allow you to go faster and and what it is that you could do is take some stuff out, man. A little bit of weight reduction. So you could take the back seats out. You could take the passenger seat out. You could put skinnies on the front. I mean, depending on what you're looking to do, I wouldn't go skinnies, but you know, you could get some lighter tires. Obviously the 305s, the wider you go, the heavier the tire is gonna be. But I think it's worth it by getting, staying with the 305s, especially if you got a wide body, you can't really go any smaller than that. It's gonna look funny with the fender flares. But like I said, you could take out the passenger seat. You take out the back seats you can make sure everything's clear out in the trunk you know don't carry a lot of stuff with you weight reduction is going to allow you to go faster to put that power down and with that weight reduction you're going to need those tires because you're going to want to spin even more the less weight that you have so the first thing that you really should do is make sure you got those good tires and if drag racing is something that you're looking to do then yes you could go with the skinnies in the front obviously that's going to help out you can also look for a forged wheel if you got the money for it that's going to take a weigh some weight just look around for a lighter weight wheel all these things could help because especially in this car right here it's already pushing 4300 pounds in the scat pack in the wide body scat pack and the hellcat is even more and believe me i've tested it i've ran people with people in the car the same person with a person in the car and without a person in the car and just one person makes a tremendous difference and that's like i'd say the person weighed around uh, maybe close to 200 you know 180 ish to 200 that makes a big difference and by removing the back seats by removing the front seat you know you could trim off a lot of that weight so i mean it depends how far you're willing to go for the gains but these are just like simple things that you could do to gain power that'll allow you to go faster, get better times, maybe do better against people that you're trying to run off the streets, of course, because we do not promote any illegal activity. But all these things are going to help if you do not want to get a tune. Now, I will be making a video on things that you could do with a tune very, very soon. So stay tuned for that. No pun intended. Uh, that video will be coming very, very soon. But that's pretty much going to do it, guys. Those are six things that you could do to gain gain more power to go a little faster without getting a tune and all those things are fairly cheap you know it's not too expensive i don't think you're going to be breaking the bank with any of those things so these are all affordable things that'll get you out there on the street going a bit more faster so hopefully this helped if you guys did enjoy like comment subscribe i appreciate it greatly it helps out tremendously all links are down below in the description for anything you guys might need everything i mentioned in the video the 1391 merch 
everything I use and recommend all down below in the description my social platforms all that but until the next time i appreciate you guys so much like i said i'm gonna catch you guys soon who is louis 13 checking out salute